but it's still, it's, it probably won't come out until we really deal with it. Right? <coughs> but I mean, just hit a bullet, just hit, you know, five feet from the hole, uh, and you hit most of them that way. Um, but it, it's going to give you more hope for kind of where we're going uh, in the next series. Okay. If we can hit okay. it like that every time, you can shoot targ off or under if you hit it like that every time, which uh, you're hitting a lot like that. Yeah, but I can't repeat it. But no, if you can you. let it, and you're repeating it. I don't think, I think it's just, it's so, you, the, you're in a position, it's a, you're in a good boat right now, position, because what happens is, you're hitting it the right trajectory. You're getting some compression, obviously, because you're hitting it flink far. Uh, you're getting, you know, you're getting, so you got the dispersion, you got the, the trajectory, you got good ball control, but you've got a lot of energy tied up, which that means your form is really good. Once we learn how to let it go, and we'll have to isolate that. Okay. And I don't think we'll get it today. And, if, and it's not a big thing because you don't have to have more than that to go out and play excellent golf. Okay. You know. Um, but when we get it to the next level, then it'll feel just really effortless and really soft and heavy and okay. and it'll be the same form which is what makes it tricky yep that was that was flush you tried to compress it so what happened there and, and, and you're smart golf too but what, so what happened there was you what you did was you, uh, you, you tug it back right here and you just pushed down on the club but you can still, even if, see, I can still have my elbows tight and just dra drop down at it, right? Okay. And you hit a good shot, but it's, you lost some distance because you were really trying to compress the ball. Okay. And I, to me, honestly, it felt like totally relaxed. So yeah, yeah, I I'm, think you're, I think I'm way tighter yeah. than I know. Yeah, and you know? we're going to give you some drills when we finish this up. But that that, it, it, that was another one where it was, you got great control, he had a great shot and all that, but the energy was kind of going, it, it would have been more like this, so it was kind of coming out. Like you got your compression through force. Okay. And what it'll look like, what's the difference when I do it here? It'll be more, it'll be through softness. So it'll be yeah. more that yeah. way. And and so you'll still have the alignments and the control, but it's, it'll be, uh, it won't be, because uh, that was the same way, but you made it compress better, but you didn't, you still had the energy locked up. Wow, okay. Up in here. Yeah, so. yeah. Yeah, I can't wait to get on that. <clears throat> beautiful thing is you're just you know you're wearing out like I said the, the very rarity you get to work on different you know I think the right hand in my opinion uh, for most better players in golf is the right hand is far more important when you get to a certain level I think it's important with beginners too but the right hand seems to be more important for uh, golfers your level than the lead hand so your back okay. hand is more important okay. and when you get it in the right line it doesn't have to be perfect there's a lot of right hand grips that can work mm -hmm. but for yours you got to find the one that works with your swing Okay. And that grip that you have with your swing won't work. Okay. And I don't think it would work with really any because you're not going to see okay. most. You're never really going to see a lot of grips on the tour where it comes way over. Yeah. Like that. You'll see some where it goes under. You know, you mm -hmm. see grips like that, but mm -hmm. pretty neutral, and sometimes on top, but uh, to the side a little bit here, or you'll have some that roll it a little under. But you don't see a lot that wrap the elbow over because it's again, it's a weak uh, fundamental. Okay. It's designed to take speed off the shot, and you don't really want that in okay. the full swing. Speed off the ball, I should say. So grip, and then just keep doing this. Keep trying to just keep softening yourself up. Make a normal golf swing, but try to stay soft through the elbows. But more important than all that, get your grip. A little more under, though. It's going to be more under than what you think. So it may have to feel like for you, like it's pointing over that golf cart. But yeah. you're better there. But every time you start, you get it up in here. You get it over on top too much. And it's it's you're too close to the edge is best way to say that. Okay. This is right right here though, right? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's good. And just relax and make your golf swing. That was your best shot of the day. Beautiful. Yeah, that felt real good. And it came that I mean you can tell by the distance. I mean it just yeah. another fifteen yards out. That's where you're hitting your seven earlier. That's the eight now. Okay. So yeah. that was and there's still that's I still right. think there's energy tied up. In yeah. There, but that's you don't you don't have to hit any better than that. Yeah, yeah. and I, and I will as I work through it. Well, especially once you, you haven't been taught the drill, so yeah, uh, how to to make it where and it's really got it's in my opinion it's stuff you do at home and it just becomes that it's not like the if I can tell you to relax and even show you the drills and if you're trying to think about it in your swing you're you're probably gonna have some hit and miss with it but when we get the drills we just isolate that without hitting balls and we work on just softness that it's not just your elbow it's gonna be your whole body the softness where it kind of rolls into that that elephant's trunk where it's everything okay. comes out okay and it's long but it's when it hits again it's not going like this it's going you know where it's got yeah. if it hits something you can hear it 
Okay. And it's got a lot of power attached to it. Okay. okay. So same thing, get your grip right. And then make the swing we've been working on. A little bit more. Don't be afraid to cheat under and check it. There you go. Left the thumb a little over with the hand in the same position. Don't roll your hand over to get the thumb. Right there, yeah. I don't think it's bad to practice that a little bit, have some gap at first. Oh, really? And, okay. to, and then you can take it out because I don't, you get your hands so tight together, which I think is good. Yeah. This V, but it's so tight that it's usually over. I okay. see you see some space so you can actually see where the gap's pointing. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Okay. Gotcha. And then you can take that away later on. Okay. Beautiful there. That's solid. And just relax and make your golf swing. Oh, that was crushed, huh? Yeah. Beautiful swing. Very nice. Thanks. Let's keep doing that. Just kind of go through the routine. I'm going to get this little bag for you. We can start working on it a little bit. Cool. Huh? Yeah. You're definitely hitting it uh, obviously straighter and you're definitely hitting the club further. Yeah. That's where your seven was going the same spot earlier. And that impacts so much. So I want you to stand if you will. Uh, let's see how we can do this because I want this to be on the camera. Probably about, uh, let's see if I did it, maybe like right here for me. And you'll be you'll be holding this as it slides under. Okay. And you hold this. I want you, that way you can kind of feel the energy. It'll be in your right hand. This way? Yeah, just like this, kind of keep it in tight. So if, I, if you watch when I come through, there's different, you know, you're, this is kind of how you're, if you're hitting a shot, you're hitting it like, you're hitting it in the energies in here. The alignment, this is really good, right? Mm -hmm. But then what I'm talking about would be, yeah. see the alignment's the same, yeah. but it's, see what I'm saying? Totally. Yeah, it's and skimming you, off You of can it. feel the vibration, mm -hmm. right? So the ball would go through the same thing. But if I keep it tight, now if I broke the alignment, you know, like most people do, if I spin my body, and I go this way, again, you get the same. You see how that spins off? That's totally. trying to go this way, same thing with the ball. Yeah. If I go this way and hit up, the energy is kind of the same thing. It mm -hmm. goes down and it's no go. But if I go here and I use my whole body as one unit, and this is like a whip, but it's structured. So it's not, that's, that's the same body movement, but this is, you can feel. Yeah. It's harder. Uh, the hit's not harder, but the force, the yeah. stress is harder here, right? And just relax this and you'll feel. Right? Now what I want you to do is show you another trick, if you will, kind of bring this up. And uh, this time I want you to just, just hold it up. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and take it out. Okay. I'm going to have you hold it like this, like that for me, okay. into me. And so if I'm here and you're going to be, you're going to be just bringing it all the way into you. All right. And so if I'm here and I said, all right, I'm not going to hit it, right? I'm just going to push you. So I'm going to stay right here. I'm not going to change anything on either one. And if I just, I'm going to use four, so I'm going to, and you, you don't don't let me move you either one there's gonna be two options okay, okay? one's gonna be here and you can move you can you've got structure right yeah. now watch the difference yeah feel the difference yeah. so if I've got one I go like this like this yeah. and if the other one's gonna be like this this is less tense or what are you doing to yeah see so you, you feel the difference right yeah, yeah, and you've got see. everything you can to, to stop that yeah. and the other one you're not going to stop and I'm in the same position yeah. so one is by force Again, if I'm here, go ahead and let it relax into you. And then, then there you go, now firm. And so if I'm here, you can feel it, right? Did you feel that? Mm -hmm. All right. And then this one would be, you can't, you, as strong as you are, you can barely stop that. It's pulling you back, right? Yeah. So that's the force that you're dealing with. Okay. Okay. That's awesome. So, and, and so that's the same thing. So if I had you kind of hold this kind of in an angle like this, I'm not going to hit it hard. You can hold it, yeah, just like that. Uh, and I come down, kind of get down and squat just a little bit. So when if I come down, this is the angle we're playing in golf. It's a little lower, but that's fine. When I come here, it's, you feel how much power is there, right? Yeah. If I'm coming here your way, it's like that. It's like this. Now, again, if you keep it on your leg like that, 
And what's the difference? Yeah. So that just vibrates your yeah. whole body, right? Mm -hmm. And so this is the same, but th it's the difference in how you're letting the energy out. Mm -hmm. Now that's the same thing. So that's the same thing as this right here. So as I'm here, if I keep everything together, th this is structure, but everything's staying up in my elbows. Yeah. The other one is like, feel how that's the same way I was hitting that. It was softer. Yeah. But the movement pattern, the rotation, all that was the same the way I clipped the clip face. So okay. it's, it's letting it go this way, and that's where the power's at. <coughs> okay? Cool. And how do I learn how to do that? You'll be doing this not right now, but you're going to have to train. You don't have to train in the bag, but I can teach you. How, there's forms and drills to learn how to let it go all the way. Okay. Because again, if I was just doing sprint trot right here, so if I'm here, and I'll go ahead and put your arm on it. You'll find out how hard this really is. All right, now just. feel like a rock and doesn't feel powerful until you go in and back right so you go in and re let it go like that so you're letting it go there you go it does it's, yeah that's the form so if I was practicing if you're if I was practicing do hold this again so if I was here again if I was if I was like this right mm -hmm. I can't move you but if I go you know it's easy so it's kind of like up in and up so the practice like on it, the practice on it is like this so it's going to be I would practice if I was practicing on you it would look like this practicing like a roll. Okay. See, I'm not hitting, that's the same energy, but then all of a sudden, okay. I add that in, so it's, yeah. it comes out like this. But yeah. I, as soon as I go hard, if I'm going hard like this, I'm not gonna move you. Yeah. If I'm not, I'm not, there's no way, if you let, don't let me, I'm not moving you. Right, right. Because we're, now we're in a contest, but if all of a sudden I go, you know, like that. <laughs> yeah. and, and this is, that's the same thing as this, but it's like that. I never ever went this way. Right. What you think? Because now we're in an arm wrestling contest. But when I make the movement it's like a wave, so it comes in like a wave. Okay. So you're practicing going back and forth, and all of a sudden I'm going to let it out like that. It's going to be like this. And when I let it out, even though that I might be here, I'm going to let it out that way, like this, my whole body. And then when I do that, it's going to put energy pushing back into you, like a jolt. Okay. It's the same thing in golf. So when you're hitting these great players, whether they know it or not, they're doing it. But they're not going and staring at it like this. They're letting it go, but they might have those straight alignments that they see where you're not a lot of this stuff, but they're but they're letting it all out of their system here, see? Mm -hmm. And you can practice to do that. And a lot of it's just like you would see in boxing where they're practicing just, just like this. And all of a sudden, you don't see it anymore where it's more of a straight, you know, it's a straight shot. It's not the, where you do the rolling the punches or this or this stuff. Then all of a sudden, when they box, you don't, you don't see that. You see a straight hit, right? That makes sense? Yeah. Same thing in golf, you're not gonna see somebody going like that. Yeah. No, and that's yeah. not really what you're doing anyway, yeah. but you're gonna see, you know, a very structured and very aligned and all this, but what you miss is like how soft, heavy, and hard that's hitting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And powerful it is. And it's yeah. and that's how you can do it with way less force. Uh, and, and you keep your golf swing because it has nothing to do with really your swing. It has to do with the energy staying in your body yeah. versus coming out, you know, and letting it go, okay. which is really what that's all about. So that's what I'm trying. Now, we'll, I know today with getting the grip and getting the ball flight where we want, and then as we work forward, you'll start seeing more of these drills where we practice. And then you just start to become that. You don't, it's not like you're going to give you a golf club and hit balls and we're going to try to figure it out. Yeah. We're going to... Uh, we're gonna do some drills like that and all of a sudden you practice at home and all of a sudden you just your swing becomes that. Okay. There is no energy held up anymore and it's not a swing thought. Cool. It just kinda of, you just kinda of become that. Got That's it. what. Alright, so let's try to hit some more here. Do the same club. But hopefully that helps you understand yeah, yeah. the power through softness and uh, <clears throat> and so forth. Yeah. hand a little bit more. Good. That's beautiful. So that's okay like that? It just feels like it's not really even yeah, on there? Yeah, it's going to feel a little, for you it's going to definitely feel on it because it's been so far over, right? 
Yeah. But yeah, just to be, you know, I would leave it gapped like that. That way you can see it. Okay. It's clear because then if that gap is over, then you can, you can see how much yeah. it's rolled, right? Like, like where am I holding it? I'm not, I feel like I'm not even holding it anywhere. That's good because the ball is going a lot further and all that. I wouldn't get okay. into all that. You're all right. Probably, you'll figure out how to hold it. Like, okay. I don't see, see that as being the issue. I do see every time, though, that it's not enough. That's the biggest problem that I see. It's okay. like it's, it needs to be, you don't, you, I'm having to really adjust your every swing before yeah. you hit. And I would just, there you go. Just commit to it early and then. You'll be in business. That was a body move because obviously the grip was better. Okay. So it went a little bit right, still hit the green, got a 20 footer. Yeah. But, you know, that's a body move and we deal with that later. Yeah. That, that's so that, kind of like cool player. so we can focus on one thing. Yep. Totally makes yep. sense. And it's the only one you've hit really out of all these, so you kind of sometimes got to let them go. Watch that hand, watch how you turn that arm over. Yeah. Soft, oh, good. Better. And and even with this, what we were working on before, how to, you know, the so that softness for power and that heaviness. Your whole body, it's not just an arm thing for you, it's your whole body kind of locks up. You have really tight, connected patterns, but you don't have a lot of flow in it. So what I mean by that, like you have really tight, you know, patterns here, right? And it's all this, but there's like, you can have a pro that has the same tight patterns, but they have the, they have softness in yeah. between. Totally. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So, you know, when you, you can see the rigidness when you're hitting oh, yeah. like this. But we take the, the rigidness, we don't want to change the swing to get the rigidness out. We yeah. just learn how to get the body where it learns how to become more supple and, 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 and softer, right? So it's yeah. softer, but it's still connected, yeah. you know? And, and it's a whole body thing. So I've been talking about the elbows and the wrist, and it does, it comes out of that at the end, obviously, because you're holding the club. But it's gonna be literally from your whole body, from the feet all the way up to your neck, everything will just, it'll come out and soft, and you won't feel anything really left in you okay. at that point. But you'll Smart still feel it connected, because in chi, you, you first thing you have to have is the structure of rooting, and then you, you build the chi, and then you coordinate. So the coordination is this, right? Mm -hmm. And then you have the connection of the chi. You, you have the connection, you have some good coordination, but your coordination, your flow and your coordination uh, could get a lot better. Okay. And that's gonna just make the connection better, and then the strength of it better, right? Okay. And the repeatability. Got it. Solid, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it was it's straight. That's literally further than you're hitting your seven hour earlier. Yeah. But it obviously the most important is right at the fly. So obviously it's getting better with the softness too. Yeah. Watch your right hand a little bit. Beauty there, huh? Yeah. So that had some of it. You kind of got it out of your elbows and your wrist. I wouldn't say the whole body yet. Yeah. But that was really, that was awesome. Okay. And so cool. it's, it's very accurate and very powerful too. You know, so when you first started, you know, you couldn't even do all this, like hit the ground. And yeah. Even with a wedge. Yeah. And it shows you that you're getting into the turf now. And yeah. you can do it by force and manipulation. And I don't, you did that a little bit, but it's still better than just nothing, right? Yeah. It was so tied up. So yeah. that last one looked like it came out, like you said, through the elbows and the wrist all the way through. But I wouldn't say it was the whole body yet because we got to train for that. Okay. But um, it certainly came out in a really important spot, the thing that totally missed. That's why it's launching out like crazy right now. Like a, just a little 
pole type thing? I'm sorry? Did you see that pole? Uh, no, I missed that one. Okay. I was back on the camera just seeing if we were still in line.